Right guys, good afternoon. This is the XTZ. So this is my XTZ125. Right guys, actually I set off yesterday. I went to the market yesterday morning, 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock. So we went to the famous street market in Mercia. Now, I actually gave the bike a little bit. You know, the bike went okay, we're going good. And then I came back in the afternoon to see to the dogs. So I came back to see to the dogs. That's one of them. The other one's over there hiding in the shade because it's very hot today. So, you know, I actually set off back in the afternoon to go and pick Jovelin up from the market. Well, not from the market. I actually helped her at the market when we'd finished at the market. We actually went to her mama's house. Now, then I came back home, you know, to see to the dogs and have a cup of coffee and spend a few hours home, really. So what's happened is, look, as I set off, the way the tricycle went yesterday afternoon, Sunday afternoon, to pick Jovelin up, the chain came off. So you can see, look can see let me get my hands on it look you can see the chains had it look so the chain came off and it's ready for a change I need to change it now but I haven't got a 19 inch spanner or a socket to fit that and then it's just a case uh, you know it would help if I could just undo that and then I could pull it back and then I could tension it with these chain tensioners but I haven't got a sprocket, sorry, I haven't got a socket or a spanner to fit the bike. So, you know, I'm going to have to try and find someone now to change the chain and sprockets. Because if you look, if you look where my finger is, really, they've had it now, look. So the chain's just starting to... Drrr, and what happens is when you change gear and it, you know, it pulls it, it pulls it tight and you can feel it going over the sprockets and what's bad about it now like I said I have got the chain and sprockets here I just haven't got a 19 inch I ain't got a 19 inch spanner to take that off they look like 10 or 12 inch so they look like 10 or 12 inch I haven't got a spanner to take them off to put this sprocket on so I ain't got a spanner so I've got no tools whatsoever same here, got no tools to take this off so I can put the sprocket on the front. So I've got no tools, so it's a bit of a problem really. What's a big problem about it is because I've got to go to Mercy, it's 12, it's 12 kilometres, it's six there and six back, and then we have to travel around Mercy and we have to travel very, very slowly. And like I said, that chain came off. But I had to go and pick, I had to pick Jovelin up, look at that, can't tighten it up, so it's, you know, runs over the top, in other words, it doesn't pull the back wheel round, doesn't pull the back wheel round, it rides across that sprocket, and like I said, I ain't got no tools to take it off, and what's bad about it, like I said, I've got to go into Mercia, And now I've got to find someone that's got a spanner for this, spanner to fit these. And same here guys, I've got to take that off. That looks like a 12 milli. Looks like a 12 milli. Don't think it's any, could be a 10, 10, 12, no bigger than a 13. So, millimetre spanner. And then, so I've got to go and find someone now. Then I just have to take this off. But you can see, look. You can see that sprocket nights had it. Just have to take that off, that's all. And then I mean if I'd if I could just undo this at the other side, I could actually just tension it with these look. Just pull the wheel back, pull it back, and then tension it with that, then tighten this up at the other side. But we don't have the tools, so I've got to try and find and we don't have the money either. We don't have a budget. We don't have a budget to get someone to change them. 
So let me just reverse the camera guys. So actually what I did is when the chain come on, I actually the chain were off. So what I did is I put the chain back onto the sprocket. So I tell if the chain's had it. I can even tell it's had it with just rattling it there with my finger. Just by rattling that with my finger I can tell chain's worn look. So chain's had it. Right, so what I did was is I put the chain when it came off, I put it back onto the sprocket at top there, then I pushed the bike backwards and then it, it went on and that's how loose it is look. See? That's how loose it is. Look, see? Chain's had it look. See that look? So that's it look. Chain's had it. So, I need to get a chain and sprocket, which is not very good. Right, guys, take care, have a great day. I'll actually see if I can get a price for someone to change my chain and sprockets. So that's what I'm going to do, guys. Get someone to change the chain and sprockets. Have a fabulous weekend. Take care, God bless. Please like, subscribe, please share the videos. Please help support. Please become a ch channel member. Super chat, you can purchase super chat. It's all on there, guys. Check it out. Thanks. Take care. God bless. So that's the XTZ. Right. So she does need an oil change as well. She needed an oil change about, wow, 2,000 kilometres back. Same again. Don't have the budget. That's the volcano there. The Canlaan volcano. And at the other side of that, it's the Canlahan city. So that's it. That's what we see, the volcano. So right, guys, I'll go and wash my hands, and I'll get ready. And we're off out. Hopefully we get to Mercia and back. Oh, and we're on reserve. We're five miles on reserve. Five kilometres on reserve. Maybe a little bit more. So it's a very, very slow ride to Mercia. And hopefully we get back.